Data interpretation questions are typically found towards the end of each quantitative reasoning section. They may be the same question types as other problems, but the method used to solve them is a little different. In this lesson, we'll cover this method as well as strategies used to solve data interpretation questions. But first, let's look at this type of question. Data interpretation questions involve line graphs, bar graphs, pie charts, tables, and other visual displays of data. The answers to these questions are always right in front of you in the information provided, but time is often running short. One of the things you're being tested on is how fast you can come up with the numbers you need without making careless errors. Knowing this, we are now ready to look at a data interpretation question. Here are two typical data interpretation pie charts that sadly don't show anything as delicious as their name implies, but instead compare types of popular diets in 1995 and in 2000. It's important to not get caught up in all the information presented in these visuals. With all that's going on here, you only need to draw specific details to answer your question. So before jumping in to try and make sense of all these pie charts, let's look at the steps we'll use to quickly solve data interpretation questions. Step one is to look through the information provided, just enough to get the gist of it. There's no need to memorize it because it's right in front of you, kind of like an open book test. Getting a general idea of what data is provided in which chart, though, will help you find the correct answers much more quickly. Step two is to answer the question in the most time-efficient manner possible. Often, only one of the charts will be needed to answer the question, so we can save time by avoiding the chart or charts we don't need. And now, let's go back to our charts and try to apply this method to answering data interpretation questions. These are the two charts we will need to look at for this question. The first question asks, in 1995, approximately how many million people were on the zone diet? The answer choices are 12.2, 17.0, 23.0, 24.3, and 35.7. We're only asked about 1995, which is all on the chart on the left. Focusing on the chart on the left, we can see that 17% of 135 million dieters in 1995 were on the zone diet. Using the on-screen calculator you'll have during the test, multiply 0.17 by 135, and you get the answer of approximately 23 million people, or the third answer choice. When solving data interpretation problems, be careful to distinguish between raw figures and percentages. Raw figures represent actual amounts. A percentage is simply part of a raw figure. Let's look at another question using the same pie charts. What is the ratio of the number of people on the SlimFast diet in 1995 to the number of people on the Mediterranean diet in 2000? The answer choices are 3 over 28, 1 over 4, 27 over 98, 9 over 28, and 1 over 3. Here, we're asked about both 1995 and 2000, so we'll need to look at both charts. 3% of 135 million dieters were on the SlimFast diet in 1995. Using our calculator, we get 3% of 135 is 4.05. So we'll make sure to write that down. In the year 2000, we see that 6% of 210 million dieters were on the Mediterranean diet. 6% of 210 is 12.6 million people. Let's jot that down as well. So the ratio of the number of people on the SlimFast diet in 1995 to the number of people on the Mediterranean diet in 2000 is 4.05 divided by 12.6, which rounds to 0.32, or 32 over 100. This is less than a third, which is the fifth option. We're looking for a value that is smaller than this. Keeping this in mind, let's solve for the fourth answer choice. The fourth answer choice is 9 over 28. 9 divided by 27 equals a third, so if we divide 9 by one more, 28, we'll have a little less. So the correct answer is the fourth choice. In this lesson, we used efficient and methodical ways to get the correct answer quickly, and you'll only get better at solving problems with more practice. Make sure you train your eye to look for those specific details and learn to use the calculator to your advantage.